Hello everyone, Alex Rules 237 here, back for another Minecraft video on the Mocharv server. Technically, we're on my uh, Redstone Testing World right now, but don't worry about it. We're going to get on the Mocharv server it's just in a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go straight into it. I'm not going to bore you to death with any news or anything. Uh, I tried my best to do a bit more designing. This is this is all the pretty much just the same from the last one. The problem I'm having with is the window. The window is being a pain in the noogie. Uh, uh, the original design, and I'm going to try to show you without wasting much time. The original design was a normal, um, you know, kind of room sort of thing like this. Uh, it, I broke a couple things there. Like, sort, sort of like that. And it might not look too bad right there, and, and maybe, uh, doesn't look too bad all the way around, but... The entire room itself, what I have designed for the tower, and having it go all the way up, like I, with these first floor, four floors, I've got to mix up my English, they did not look too good, especially where the uh, floors meet, where you had uh, them meeting up here, uh, like this. It, does, it doesn't look too good, it makes it look too blocky so then i thought well most most towers have like are just pure window right and i mean not pure window but uh you you get what i'm trying to say and i tried that and this it looks way much better um this is one thing that drives me insane too i can't oh god the lag i can't build one floor and copy and paste it up all the way up because they're all, all the floors are different, and the it, it's just a pain in the neck. So I either have to build all the floors, like, by hand, and see if it looks good. I mean, I'm going with this design, sort of. Actually, no, um, not this design. I It's a teeny different, teeny bit different. Um, I, I either build it all here, and then rebuild it all on the Mocharv server. What the heck is dropping? Or have these four, first floor, four... <laughs> Have my first four floors, that's a tongue twister right there, done, and build everything else on the Mocharv server and just wing it. I think we're going to wing it. Uh, it's not too hard. Uh, I built, like, I should probably do the uh, next two floors, all the, like, the six floors, to, like, test out having different ones, which is what I'm going to do, uh, just, like, to get the gist of it. But it's not too hard. Just have them, like curve at the end uh to make the build easier for me and also to save pain on ink sacks and windows or glass windows uh i came up with a new design and where the floors meet exactly right here right now, garbage, uh have more cyan right there I, I i don't have an infinite stack of terracotta but it should enough in the shop should be enough for this uh, the glass is what I'm is something I'm gonna need to quite a lot of but something I can get easy ish the sand I can go to a desert far away which by the way I have found one and spam the ground for half an hour that's no problem smelting is no problem I have more than enough coal it's the ink sacks now one ink sack and eight glass can make eight stained glass. So I only need for a ratio one to eight in ink sacks and glass, which is so much helpful to me because I was fearing what if it's one ink sack of glass? That would absolutely suck. But no, I can have a whole stack of black stained glass with just eight ink sacks, which is easy for me. I live in an ocean, I can get squid easy ish. Um, but yeah, I already have all of this built. Except for the lettering, I have all of this built on the Mochar server where it is, except for the glass too. Uh, I, I do have the, like, up here and uh, terracotta, the cyan terracotta going up and down. I have that completely. The lettering. Oh, God. It's made as Sea Lantern, and i searched up how to make sea lantern and it gave me a freaking heart attack the what you have to do to get the materials to craft it you need like uh, a few like shards and crystals and they're not they're not hard to get but they're hard to kill the guardians that drop them and 
like let's say five crystals and four shards or the other way around, I can't remember, make one sea lantern. And I counted this, I did some mathematicals, and it, it, I need a stack, uh, about 63. So what I have planned is to get Luke, because uh, he has some sea lantern, I think like 23 or 24, and then have him go out to a ocean monument and have him help me get some because I know he has some and maybe he can help me a bit maybe I, maybe I can get someone else who knows Jordan's online right now speaking of being online I should probably get on the motor server right now but what what I'm questioning is do I get the sea lantern now or do I show off the tower you know no 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 the sea lantern is gonna be probably the hardest thing let's go get the sea lantern first Something tells me that this is going to work. I, I, I'm not saying that I was doubting that it wouldn't work. But we, I'm only like a few days in and this is what we accomplished. Obviously, I built this off camera or that would have took forever. And uh, I know I would have worked on the subway and finished it after, you know, I turned the camera off for the night. Yeah, well... This kind of got in the way, and I didn't even touch it since. I am planning on, you know, working on this. I, it's barely different. I just added a lot more torches. I have dug, completely dug the hole. Uh, I not none railway left. There's nothing much I can even really decorate this anyway. I probably should come up with a good plan on my head. But uh, all the cool things I want to do, like have a map or like a picture of something and build it out in the Wild West, and this is going to take forever, and it's something that I should do, but definitely right now, not right now. I got a lot more things to deal with. Um, I have got gotten cyan, terracotta, and on all four sides, built them all the way up, but I have not done barely any of the actual floor ones like this and I haven't even built the floor the first floor yet because it's right above the parking lot so I necessarily can't start putting in the glass but uh, I do have a bit of glass uh, black stained glass I'm not using panes if I used panes uh, I would have a lot more but they're so hard to deal with and Actually, why why am I not using panes? I mean, yeah, they're they're difficult to work with. Um, so it take wait it takes six glass and it makes sixteen panes. So you're you're getting ten glass out of it. Why don't I do that? Why am I not doing that? I'm not. I, I didn't think this through, did I? I'm lagging a lot. Um, hmm, oh crap, no, I went the wrong way, ah, damn it, ah, get this, ah, crap, I'm lagging a lot, not like frame rate lag, what is going on with my internet, okay, here, thank you, go down, go forward, and there, what the, Okay, you have to be kidding me. You, you have... Is it all activated? Are you... Oh my god, freaking Luke. And this is not Holden, this is Luke. I know that for a fact. I... Base is not touched. Alright, everything seems normal. I still have this chest that Holden put there. Uh, place the minecart back. Freaking jerk. Um... So, this is the glass chest. See, I have a bunch of stained glass. I have a bit more normal glass I still have to stain, and just a little bit more sand. This is definitely not enough. Pro I should probably do the math to figure out how much I'd probably need exactly. But should I use panes or glass? If I use panes, I'd have a lot more of them. Oh my god, life decisions. Okay, this is the uh, this is the the first two floors. They're both the same, so this is not a middle section. This is pain, and this is normal glass. There's barely even much of a difference. First of all, you when you get up close, yeah, you can like 
I there it's again it's harder to place but if I get some help like you know Jordan uh, he's probably already a sponsor anyway and get it twice as much done I think we should do it I don't feel like getting a lot of glass with me uh, I want to see how much the glass I do have uh, holds up I'm gonna say if at least a few floors uh, I, you know what we're using pains that's my cognitive decision we're gonna use pains yeah, that was a pretty good idea. I still have a few more stain, normal stained glass, but think about it. I had about this much in normal glass, and then I turned it, most of it into stained pane, and I have a full chest now. That was worth it. We're gonna, you, I mean, I already made the pane, so we're, there's no going back now. But we're gonna make the pane. So texting Jordan right now. Hopefully, he answers. He's probably not going to. None of them do. And we're going to see how much we can get done. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my buddy Holden, because he's such a nice guy, to do a third person time lapse for uh, record a third person time lapse for me because I don't have another Minecraft account. I don't want to do first person, especially since I'm having someone else do it with me. So, uh, thanks Holden for the uh, third person time lapse. Here we go. Okay, yay, that was done. That was also an excruciating three hours of pain and suffering that I had to go through. Oh my god, I think it would have been easier just to suck it up and get the actual glass than the glass panes. Because making glass is much easier than placing the glass panes. Especially with the problem I figured out here. And especially I changed with this anyway. Um, we are not here, and I do not care, CC Cleaner. 
We're not here for that right now. I want to start working on the floors as I build up. Obviously, I don't have all the glass in place at chest yet. But I did do quite a bit of progress, and I think it looks good for now. But I want to do the uh, floors that I am able to right now. So obviously, in the in the uh, not stream time lapse, you saw me place some uh, wood planks down. I guess for the lobby, this can be the floor, and maybe I don't know what I want the other floors floor to be. <laughs> Uh, maybe it can just be wood. Who knows? Um, I don't know. I really just like the look of that wood, especially with this kind of style I want the lobby to be. Uh, this second floor, um, actually, I have the picture, the, uh, diagram of what I want all the floors to be. So I'm gonna put it up for you right now. Um, obviously, there's 20 floors and I haven't figured out what I, what I want to do with all of them yet. But most of them are all planned out. So... The first floor is obviously the main lobby, and the second floor is going to be the second floor, but it's going to halfway, like, how do I say this, conjoin with the lobby. What I want is, what I'm trying to say is have, like, a grand stairway going up into the floor uh, of the second floor, or uh, the ceiling of the lobby, I guess, and this can just be, like, an information area, you know, elevators, stuff like that. Um, the lobby is going probably being the busiest and I'll explain what I mean in a second obviously I want to try to make this to look as best as possible I mean like chandeliers and stuff like that because this is the first floor people always go into when they go in or even out of the building it's the only way unless you know they're being weenies and they break windows and hop out but they're probably not going to do that so yeah maybe this can be wood maybe not this is the first floor that people go into, so we gotta make it look good. I'm gonna do these first two floors, and then all the other floors save for the other videos. I gotta design a floor, and obviously, um, this one is not, uh, you know, what the actual one is going to look like. Um, but yeah, I did, I, in the time lapse, I did place the wood and did quite a few, f uh, layers of glass. It did take a while, and I did have some help. Thank you, Holden, for recording. Um, I have all the lights in place. I torched everything, so that's good. I, I, I don't know what I want this stone to be. So, let's do this. Um, obviously, everything is glass pane. Pain in my neck. Uh, and this middle right thing right here is cyan terracotta, like that. So keep that in mind. I guess we can just have all the floors be wood. And then, you know, for the private floors like uh, Holden and Jordan, they can, like, make the floors whatever they want. And as long as it doesn't affect people. Yeah, um, fill one. And then go over here. Let's fill it with wood. Let's do the fill command. And no, I'm not going to record me actually. Oh, God. Uh, actually designing the freaking thing because that would be annoying uh let's see what is it planks yes so how how does that obviously look because we want it to look grand not cheap no mm. it might be a good floor for the actual upstairs or maybe even chest the lobby. But that's not a good ceiling whatsoever. And uh, that's not a real torch. Arg. Alright, well, I'm going to try my best and come back to you what I have. Oh my god. It has been three weeks since I recorded anything. That being the last clip that you just saw. The reason being, no excuses, I kind of got a bit of a cold. I got a bad sore throat and I couldn't speak whatsoever. So I really couldn't. And then uh, halfway there, which is uh, a week and a half ago, if you don't know math, I get the allergies, which absolutely sucks. I still have them. I got a bit of the sniffles and I cough hard. Like seriously, I was talking to Luke five minutes ago. He thought I was dying. But anyway... 
In those three weeks, I have gotten a lot of progress done on Rules Tower. I do have my Elytra. Uh, I, a lot. Um, you can see the the rules lighting that I did that. But you need to see Rules Tower the way it is. So I'm just going to fly out like to the spawn town, you know, take a look at everything that is new. You got the Luke's headset, uh, crud. And there it is. Oh, actually, that doesn't look too good in the night nighttime. Uh, all all this glass here is put in, and the no, most of it was not in the time lapse. The time lapse I did do when I was sick, but I also got in fle I also got some floors done. Um, like these two, I think that's nine and ten. Those are Holden's floors. I told Holden I'll do the floors, and once they're done, he can start work on his floor while I'm still working on the building. I have also gotten the lobby done. Um, for the second floor, I am going to just use oak wood for all the floors and change them when Rules Tower is actually complete. Um, I'm kind of going to merge the second floor and the first floor as into one, with one lobby. And what I did in, is basically just have that stairway connect. Oh, yes, um... I'll, I'll get to this t title in a minute. I, I just had got this like kind of staircase thing with slabs and then they kind of break off. I am not keeping it oak. I want to find something better that looks better that is um, can be slabable because some of these are slabs. Something other than oak. Um, I also have this little like kind of back backing here. Uh, I do not like that. I'm going to remove that. Uh, especially because it looks bad here. But from back here it looks pretty bad so what's gonna happen is here which is gonna be an elevator hopefully um I just like kinda partition it out and whatever while I'm on the subject of the elevator <sighs> yeah I am gonna try to have an elevator I'm gonna try to design my own if I could it's probably not gonna be too any anything too fancy I mean it's not gonna be the minecart thing but it's not gonna be like a full working like real life elevator but I ran into a slight issue and that is the floors themselves. The, let's say the elevator is like right here and it goes upward. So if I look upward, if this mouse would freaking work. You can kind of see they conflict with some of the floors. And you can't see past this whole floor, which is holding this. But it goes outside of the building because of the tilt. So if I'm going to have it, I'm going to have to push it out. It's going to conflict with the stairs. So I might have to put them on the second floor. It's just going to be a mess. If it doesn't work, we're going to go with the boring old stairway which is going to be a lot of planning because uh it's it's going to be a big mess um i am going to go back to spawn town right now uh cuz i <coughs> <coughs> i am going to go back to spawn town right now because i do have something to show you um earlier in the video when i i showed like the what i was going to do with the floors i did make a bit of a mistake um, one of the two floors, it says JMT1112, Jordan, Jordan Residence. Um, I don't know why I put him in, because he doesn't have a floor. He's not sponsoring the video. I mean, not the video, the tower. Uh, so that is now up for sale, and I did put this temporary thing here just to tell people, Rules Tower Board, do not remove. The board will be removed in three weeks. I'm hoping in three weeks... I can get all the windows and all of the floor done. That's the goal. It's not going to work, but <clears throat> I'm going to try. Um, the pre-order floors. Oh, God. That scared the crap out of me. Uh, I'm probably going to die because I have no armor on right now. Yeah. Um, I guess I accidentally looked at him. I don't know. Um, <sighs> yeah, anyway. Don't don't look at the Endermans. Um, whoa, the lag. So yeah, floors 5 or 6, those are going to be individual floors. <coughs> um, either like a certain amount of square footage each floor. The higher you go, the less it's going to be because of that tilt. Um, if you're a VIP like Holden, they sponsored the build. You have a bunch of other features um, that I'll explain in a second. Um, well, not a second. I'll explain next video. Uh... Floors seven and eight, which is Jor which was Jordan's floors, apparently. Those are combined floors, so uh, the, I kind of oh god, jeez, why am I doing this at night? All right, I'm going to sleep. No, it's actually almost daytime. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, that's basically the floors. Um, 
just so anyone watching, well, at any of the Mo Charvers watching, to keep that in mind, I know you might have saw the prices are lucrutously high, but think about it. About 30 by 30 floor, so it, it, it that I just think that's reasonable, uh, my case. It's obviously going to lower, and we only have like six months left. And in case you're wondering why people would buy floors, well, uh, if you didn't, if you really didn't see the uh, thing from earlier, the purpose of Rules Tower is for both public use and private use. Well, that didn't really, I didn't really explain that, but basically, public use, there's gonna be like shops and stuff and attractions and um, if you have two floors, one floor is p for public use, one is for private. Uh, so people who buy floors, um, they kind of, it, it, they do whatever they want in that floor, but they have to keep it in the back of their head that other people can get to it. Um, for the private floors, only the person who owns the floor and me can get into it. Um, that That's the basic rule. But the... When you are VIP, you can get you can pretty much be in any floor you want except for my penthouse. So like the casino and stuff. Actually, no. If I remember correctly, I said I want that I want the casino to be public. Yeah, I don't know. The casino is public. Never mind. Um, but under the casino, there's gonna be like a kind of room, like a open room, party room, whatever you say. Uh, that's gonna be VIP only. That's the basic thing. I'm sorry for not recording for like crap amount of time and. Stuff like, you know, last time I uploaded anything was two weeks ago. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.